Alright guys, I'm just going to show you how to take this apart. The laptop apart, I mean. So, if you got the older version of the Acer Nitro 5, you'll have uh, two panels. One for your RAM, one for your hard drive, so you can upgrade them. So basically, you have to take apart them first, and then do this, what I'm doing now. But if you have the newer version, which is this one, all you have to do is take out all these screws. So there's quite a few, I'll just go through all of them quickly. Make sure you don't lose the screws. All you need for this is a normal crisscross, crisscross, uh, what do you call it? Screwdriver. So yeah, okay. And you are meant to have a warranty sticker right there. But this one doesn't have it for some reason. Which is very odd to say this is a new laptop. There's no point even contacting Acer because they couldn't even help me with my other issue. So I thought, oh, fuck you, innit? Okay, one off, two off. So you're gonna go around the whole laptop, take out all the screws. And just quickly take these out. If you have any USBs in, make sure you take them out, because that's what I had in. I had a USB Bluetooth thing there, I just took it out. Okay, there's one up here. Take that out as well. This is why you need a magnetic tip. Helps a lot. Just in that situation where it was just spinning on the spot. Keep spinning it, there you go. Magnet helps. Okay, on to the next one, then we've got one in the middle there. Yeah, majority of these are like that. You have to magnet tip them out like that. Yep. Now once you take the cover off, make sure you discharge yourself first to get rid of any static shock. Okay, down to the bottom. I don't have my tripod with me. Again, it's at the garage, sorry about that. Oh shit. Good thing I didn't leave a mark. Have to be very careful with that. That's why I'm recording with one hand, doing the work with the other hand. So bear with me guys, sorry about that. I just ordered the tripod, one for home, one for my garage. I'm doing a lot of work in the garage. And you're gonna see a lot more videos, car videos, a lot more. I'm just very behind on my schedules, editing and shit. You're most likely gonna see the Astronex, I think. Then probably the Seat Leon. Mm, what would I probably do? Uh, maybe SV after that. Because that's the order of edited it in. This one just keeps spinning. Come on. There you go. Okay. All the screws should be out now. Show you all of them. Yep. Yep. Double check all of them. Yep. Before you talk, tug it in the case. Yep. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. Yep. All up. Now, if you have a thing to deliver it with, it'd be a lot easier. Put a, or a guitar pick or anything like that. But I don't. So I'm just going to. Use my fingernails, try get it in. So, mm, it's gonna be hard to show you as well. I might have to get something to deliver it with. I'm trying to think. This bit would be the best way to get in. Can you see that? Right in that tiny gap. It's creating an opening. You just wanna start from one corner. Work your hand away all the way around it. Till you make a big enough gap. I might have to find something to lever it with. As you can see, it's already started opening. I might just pause the video, it'll make it easier to do with two hands. So all you're doing is putting your finger tip to or whatever you're using, all the way around, all the way around the edge. This bit you'll struggle a bit on, but you just press a bit harder. Go around there, all the way around, and then pull it up. So I'll do that now. As you do it, you'll hear a couple of clicks of it coming out of place, which is good. So, so far, about this much can't do much without a second hand so i'm going to pause the video and then carry on okay as you can see i've got the whole bottom side knocker open now on to the right side now 
the steak eating that pot. Just want to be careful with this bit. Took on a bit, it'll come off. You know. There's a connector right there. It's not a connector, it's just a tab basically. It'll click out of place when you get it out. It's these things here. Can you see? Yeah, let me zoom in for you. Them things, that's what's making them clicking noises. So, yeah, I'm just going to take that corner out because I'm definitely going to need two hands for that. So, that's the most hardest bit on the thing. After that, you're okay. Okay, guys, that was very hard work without a tool. So, I recommend you get a tool. Especially these corner bits, they're very hard to get out. But I managed to get it out. So, what I did was work around from there, all the way around there, up to there. Then I went up all this side, then went around the back, went around that way. And there should be no wires on it yet. To say this is a new laptop, look how much dust I've collected. Fucking hell, guys. Look at the fun. It's a brand new laptop as well. Okay. What the hell? Someone's been scratching that? Bastards. Okay. So this is not connected by any wire, so you can get rid of that for now. I shall move that somewhere. Somewhere clean when I find a place. And then, yeah. Get everything here, as you can see. I'm gonna quickly give that a bit of a dust out. There's a bit of stickiness there, something. Fucking hell, that's a bit dusty as fuck. I've had this laptop for two months. Look how dusty it is. Especially there, look at that massive dust bunny. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.